Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. The Curse of Oak Island Preview Ring dating from before 1730 could be ancient Spanish treasure. This week on The Curse of Oak Island, we can expect to see the guys continue with the heavy drilling that was started at the end of last week. With a massive oscillator in full operation and gunning for the treasure shaft, However, the episode previews are telling us that the focus this week will be on a number of brand new finds that are guaranteed to lift our excitement levels. In one clip, an ecstatic-looking Gary Drayton shouts, We're back in business, as he high-fives a delighted-looking Rick Legina. The guys often seem to be rushed this season, and this looks to be another episode that has them pressurized for time, coupled with the promise of exciting new finds. Two weeks ago, they struggled to excavate a tunnel near Smith's Cove before legal requirements forced them to remove the cofferdom. And earlier in the season, they had to quickly batten down the hatches as Hurricane Dorian approached the island. This week, the guys are again rushing against the elements due to the onset of the harsh Canadian winter. Exciting finds bring new excitement but the team must move quickly since time is running out before they must suspend operations for the harsh winter ahead. We can expect to see at least three new finds. One appears to be a human bone, and the other seems to be the bottom of a barrel. It's a component of the original treasure shaft, someone shouts in the preview. It's not clear yet if these items were found by the fancy new drilling machine or by other means, and we'll have to wait to find out their significance. However, what does it matter having fancy drilling machines with giant oscillators when you have the legendary Gary Drayton on the team? The metal detectorist and Rick find an ancient-looking ring in the ground. This is a sweet find mate, says Gary, to which Rick asks, Is that top pocket? Gary responds, This is a top pocket find mate. We're back in business. In one of the previews, we see the guys in the war room as an expert looks down on the team from a large monitor. And he's telling them, it appears to have been chiseled prior to the 1730s. It's possibly Spanish. That is certainly old. Could this be the tip of some ancient Spanish treasure? We'll have to tune in to find out.